Hello everyone, my name is Lyra and I love to do DIY crafts and also gymnastics. DIY is cheaper and also fun to do. I have a DIY for you today. I am going to show you how to make a squishy out of paper. Squishies are known as stress relievers but they are very expensive. They come in various shapes and sizes. Some are made out of foam, some out of cotton. Their price range is $5 to $10 which is very expensive for a squishy so I am going to show you how to make it under $2. The materials that you will need are A4 or A5 paper. I'm just going to use this A4 paper. You will also need tape. Just any cellophane tape will do. Next, you will need a pencil to sketch out your design. Right. I'm going to use this mega pencil. You will also need a black marker. You can just find this at your house, I'm sure you will have it. You will also need stuffing or plastic bags. The plastic bags you can get at like any grocery store or any shop where they like give you plastic bags. I got this up for popular and I got my stuffing from my old squish uh, old like stuffed animal. The next thing you need is markers to color with. I'm just using these my liner ones. And that's all the materials you will need. Here's how like the squishy will look like if you follow my design. Um, cinnamon roll like gummy, that's what I'll do. But I'm not gonna do cinnamon roll gummy today. I wouldn't even do like um, uh, Kurumi gummies or gummies. The texture is gonna be something like this. This is the be behind of it. It's really squishy. And the in front is going to look something like this. So, yeah. Anyways, now we can kind of. I mean, don't, you don't really have to like follow my design. Uh, I'm just showing you like an example. Anyways, let's now get on to the squishy making. Okay. Um, I'm. The first step is to take your paper and cut it out to your desired size. I usually use like a ruler to measure. For the breadth, I use a uh, 9.5 cm, and then for the length, I use 16 cm. So I'm just gonna draw out my my squishy length to 9.5 then a brand 16 and then I'm gonna take another 9.5 and another 16 cm down so basically this is gonna be the front and this is gonna be the back okay after you're done with after you're done with like that, I, um, you can now draw and color this, the, the, the design. I'm going to do a time lapse so you don't get bored of me coloring. So yeah, let's go do that now. You're done drawing, coloring, and drawing squishy. Um, we can now outline the squishy with a black marker so that you can like see it better. So I'm gonna do that now. First, I'm gonna grab my black marker. I'm just gonna outline the parts that I drew in pencil, just like that. It's actually like really satisfying to outline everything with black marker once you're done. So you can just see like how the squishy turns out. Now you're gonna erase all the pencil marks. Once you're done everything on the pencil marks, and yeah, now we're gonna 
tape it up. This step is optional, but I do it so that when you squeeze the squishy, it won't break easily, and when it gets wet, it won't really like tear. So I'm gonna do it now. I'm going to like laminate the squishy a bit. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Now we're done laminating it. We're gonna have to. We're gonna cut it out. Okay. Once we're done, we're gonna fold it into like a book shape, like this. And then we're gonna tape all the ends, but make sure to leave an opening at the top so that it can like let you can like stuff it later. I'm just gonna tape it up like this and cut off the excess with a scissor. Okay, now I have this little pocket like that. And now you're gonna take your stuffing or your paper. Or your plastic bag and you're gonna stuff it in to the opening like this so a tip is um, use stuffing if you do have stuffing because it's better um, the um, plastic bags will make it like more hard. I'm gonna show you like how the plastic bag makes it. <coughs> it makes it like this and it's like really hard and it doesn't really squish well and it pokes you. But it still works, but I'm just recommending stuffing because it's better. Once we have it like stuffed to the brim, we can take the tape and we're gonna tape up this bottom part. So this uh, was a really simple DIY, uh, it's really good and if you weren't able to make the squishy the first time, there's still other times, but this squishy was really good and I really love it. So yeah, if you want to try to make this at home, it's a really nice DIY to do if you're parents or if you're if you're like really bored you can do it too um and yeah if there's any holes you can just tape it up with like a, a tape okay that's all for today thank you for watching and following along to make this squishy hope you were able to make your squishy today if you still like don't know how to get the squishy you can practice and practice some more and practice makes perfect, so I believe in you. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.